State of New Jersey is, is a conservative state. It's made up of, of, of over 500 small towns and villages, all of which have their own churches and synagogues and community organizations. So by its nature, New Jersey, because of its many small governments, is a conservative state. So it's been misjudged for years as being some sort of liberal mecca. Um, I have a message that comes out of those small towns and villages. I grew up in Ridgefield Park in Bogota. That's where I raised my family. I went to church at St. Joseph's, the same church that my parents were married in, that my wife and I were married in, and that my daughter was just married in. Um, that's our background. Um, and I intend to preserve um, what New Jersey is, a great place to raise a family, uh, a great state economically if given the advantage to do so. so. Sure, sure. So, well, I've been involved in Republican politics for as long as I can remember, um, and I had actually heard about him from some of my other colleagues. Um, you know, with the special election, there's not a whole lot going on right now, and uh, everybody was kind of, uh, you know, coming off of Romney. We were all really feeling down and uh, looking for a bright light, you know, looking for a real conservative that we can get behind. And you know, Steve is, is filling that void in a really, really great way. Um, he's inspiring, uh, you know, a lot of us who you know, I'm, I'm not originally a New Jersey resident and, you know, I looked at his race and I, and I heard his message and, you know, it's not just me, but it's everybody else too. I mean, if you just take a look at the, the people that he's attracted to his campaign to work for him from all over, um, he clearly has a message that everybody is resonating with right now. We, we did go into business for ourselves and it was sacrifice. Um, I, we remember many nights where our children um, would actually have to come with us to uh, clean a laundromat or uh, pick up dad at, at the kitchen showroom. Um, and so there were four of us involved at all times, uh, unless you know, my mom would watch the children or his mom would watch the children. Um, it, it's a real sacrifice. Yeah, I, I, I built, and my wife and I more than once have mortgaged our house and invested our savings in building the business. I had a cabinet manufacturing retail business for 25 years. Uh, I actually built cabinets in a plant in an old silk mill in Patterson, New Jersey, and ran retail stores in towns like Paramus and Randolph and, and Union. Um, we had a coin-operated laundromat business that we built and sold, uh, and, and other things, real estate, um, building homes, which I enjoy doing very much because I like to build things. America is about building things. It's about building products. It's about building liberty. It's about building a future for our children. Um, he really does care about everyone and everyone's opinions, and he really wants to just represent everybody. Um, well, what a lot of people don't know about him is that he is, well, hopefully they do know this, but he's, he's extremely intelligent, he's constantly reading, he, he's just incredibly, incredibly smart. Um, he's also very strong, and he's done quite a bit that I don't think a lot of people thought that he would be able to do. Um, I think that he has overcome a lot of obstacles that he doesn't necessarily get as much credit for um, as is due to him. Um, and he's just incredibly strong and has done a lot more than I think anyone has ever expected him to do. That is Steve really, um, in a nutshell, that when he's given an opportunity, he works 1,000% on it. Um, he is also not the person you would ever say to him, you cannot do something. You, you know, Steve, you cannot, there, there is nothing that he cannot do or will not try to do, um, no matter what anybody says or any reason why he would not. He, all that just makes him work harder to achieve those goals. You know, Steve mentioned that, you know, we don't need a billion dollars. We don't. Uh, we know how much we do need, um, and that's how much we need to win. And, you know, I think casting the broad net that Cory Booker is doing right now, um, kind of pulling strings in, in California and the like, um, you know, that might be, that might be helpful um, if you are, I don't know, looking to fund your next movie. Um, it's not going to be helpful here in New Jersey where there are people hurting. There are people that want answers. And I don't know that the answer is um, a starlet who has very few ties to the actual state. 
Um, you know, she may have expertise in being a desperate housewife, but there are real desperate housewives here. And I think that Steve and, and his wife Lorraine, they realize that um, in a way that I don't know that the Booker campaign is really acknowledging. Yeah, it's because Governor Christie won as a conservative running against liberal John Corzine, even though he was outspent two to one. Christy Whitman won when she ran against Jim Florio as a conservative. Tom Kane back in the 80s won as he ran as a Reagan, Reagan conservative. Ronald Reagan won New Jersey twice. George Bush Sr. won it as well. So when you have a good, solid principles message for New Jersey, you win as a conservative. I intend to do that on October 16th.